Hello my little woolly. In this tutorial I'm sharing how to knit the classic and beautiful fisherman's rib stitch with knit stitches only. It's a one row repeat pattern, beautiful, spongy, totally reversible, it's identical on both sides and it doesn't curl. It's a great stitch for scarves, cowls, hats, blankets, and even sweaters and cardigans. And of course, I'm teaching how to do it if you need English and or continental style. So grab your yarn and needles and let's get started. Firstly, we need to cast on multiples of two and this number of stitches includes two edge stitches, the first and the last. Both will be knitted on each row. We will start with a setup row, or what I like to call row zero. We just do it once and it won't be repeated again. And it's as easy as just knit every stitch. So keep knitting every stitch to the end of the row. When you get to the last stitch, I like to work it through the back loop, so just knit the last stitch through the back loop. This way we can avoid a huge loop there. Okay, first and only row. We start with knit one. And now comes the repeat, what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Remember, you can find all my patterns on my website, so will you knit. There is a link for you below this video on the description box. Okay, the repeat is knit one, knit one inserting the needle and the stitch from the row below. Not there as usually, but in the stitch from the row below and repeat knit one knit one from the row below. That's it. Knit one, normal, and knit one, inserting the needle in the stitch from the row below. And repeat. Knit one, knit one from the row below, ending with a normal knit one, the edge stitch. Let's do it again. Remember, it's just a one row repeat pattern. So we start with knit one, and now comes the repeat. Knit a normal one, and knit one, inserting the needle in the stitch from the row below, and repeat. Knit one, in the row below. Knit one, 
net one in the row below. And keep repeating to the end of the row. net one, net one from the row below, and then with a normal net one. Now, if you need continental style, it means that you hold the yarn with your left hand all the time. We start with net one, and now comes the repeat. Knit one, a normal one, and now knit one, inserting the needle in the stitch from the row below. Knit one in the row below. Knit a normal one, now knit one, inserting the needle in the stitch from the row below. And repeat to the end of the row. Knit one, knit one, inserting the needle in the stitch from the row below, ending with a normal knit one, the edge stitch. Okay, I'm going to knit a little bit more to show you how to bind off. Okay, after some rows, it looks so pretty, I really love this stitch. Okay, now we're going to bind off right side of the work we start with knit one knit another one and pass the stitch over and now knit one inserting the needle in the stitch from the row below and pass the stitch over the repeat is knit a normal one, pass the stitch over, knit inserting the needle in the stitch from the row below, and pass the stitch over. And repeat knit one, pass, knit one in the row below, and pass, knit one, pass. Knit one in the row below. Pass. And keep repeating to the end of the row. That's a beautiful bind off technique. Stretchy. And if you have problems knitting the fisherman's rib, I will leave you a link to my tutorial. So how to solve all the problems when knitting the fisherman's rib so you don't have to undo everything you have knitted. And this is it for today, my little woolly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching and happy knitting!